Act on the Big Ten Network set. Gentlemen, um, you do look terrific. I, you're, I feel like we coordinated outfits. Great jacket, Hunter. I appreciate, thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, how's the day going so far? Welcome to Media Day. It's pretty nice. It's, it's been a long day, but I enjoy it. It's been a long day already. It's like 2 o'clock. <laughs> There's a lot of talking. A lot, a lot of, of yapping. talking. All right, all right. What, what is, you, know, you guys think about what you have been through and you guys are here, you're the senior leaders on this team. I think there's a lot of excitement about what Luke Fickle is building in Madison. So give me a sense for you guys having gone through the transition, what is the storyline of the 2024 Wisconsin Badgers? What do we need to know about the squad? Um, you know, it's always, it's always the same with Wisconsin. You know, there's a very tight knit locker room and you know, we're gonna give it all on Saturday nights. And um, you know, hopefully this is a special year for us. Yeah, to add that, I mean, Coach Fickle's done a great job. I think he's, you know, really given uh, us the chance to foster a tough culture, a culture that's still hungry, you know, to keep pushing. And, uh, you know, everyone's pushing each other, always competing for spots. It's been really good so far. I mean, it's always tough with a coaching change, um, growing pains and, and working through some stuff. But now coming into year two, I think everyone's bought in. Everyone's excited. Everyone, you know, loves Coach. Everyone believes in him. Everyone knows that. You know, what, what, what we have going is special. And so now it just comes down to doing it on Saturdays. You certainly bought in second most tackles in the Big Ten last year, Hunter. And, and you think about the position that you made and what Mike Tressel wanted you to do and moving you all around. What have you worked on and how do you feel like your game has developed? I think it's just playing free and playing loose. And I think a big part of it is understanding the defense as a whole, you know, understanding what Jake does, what all the, all the other guys do, and then what offenses do as well. Um, so just. Growing my understanding and knowledge and knowing where I have to be and where offenses want to attack us, I think that's a big step that I've made um, for this season, and I can't wait to show it. You know, Jack, when I think about you, you had the luxury of the same starting line combination last season for all 12 regular season games, which in this day and age doesn't happen very often. The comfort level that comes with three of you coming back, how is that unit molding? Because we all know that is where games are won, is up front. Yeah, I mean, it's a super tight room. Um, a lot of those guys are my best friends. Um, we're always hanging out together, you know, after practice, after all sorts of stuff, we're just always together. Um, super veteran crew, a lot of guys played a lot of snaps. And, uh, you know, I'm really excited for the new guys to, you know, kind of start to get in there a little bit and keep moving forward here. Have you had a chance to talk to Tanner, who's now going to be playing on this? Yeah, team? yeah, we saw him last night. Uh, it's pretty cool. What is it like when, when you, you know, the dream is to, is to play in the league, right? And so when you, when you line up next to a guy and you've gotten to know him so well, to see that dream being realized, uh, what did he tell you about it? I mean, he was, he was telling us all sorts of stuff. He loves it. He, he really does like it. He's enjoying the process. Um, it's just really cool to kind of see all of his hard work realized and, you know, stuff really start to happen for him, and we're really happy for him. Jake, your coach was talking on the podium earlier today, and he said something that stuck in my mind. He said, you are the attitude both of our defense of the team and really our program. Um, so when you think about your mindset and, and becoming the attitude of, of this program, how would you describe your leadership? And was it something that comes naturally to you? Was it something that you taught, you know, got taught from your dad growing up around the game of football as a coach? What, what was it? Um, my grandpa served in the military. Uh, you know, that, that tough mindset, that everyday go to work mindset stuck with me growing up. And, uh, you know, I try to bring with the guys and I truly believe Wisconsin enhanced that. Uh, as soon as I stepped into Camp Randall, uh, you know, you got leaders like Leo Chanel, Jack Sanborn, Scott Nelson. And those guys led me to embrace myself, embrace how I go throughout the day. And um, now being in that leadership role, I can give that to the younger guys now. Yeah, guys are looking up to you now. Okay, Brady Collins and Squat Fest is something I hear a lot about. It's uh, put smiles on all of your faces. What, what do I need to know about Squat Fest? Um, and tell me about the impact that, that Brady Collins has had on this program. He's he's a dog, you know, Coach Brady. He, he just he just loves to work, and he you know every every day we get in the weight room, it's nonstop go go go, and he's a high energy, energy dude. He's fiery, um, so I, having him's a blessing because he just he, he challenges us to be you know at the top of our game every single day, and which is hard, um, but he brings that out of us. And squat fest, squat fest is special, you know it's, I mean we did it last day before our, our little break there um, this summer. And everyone just gets rowdy. Place gets loud. We got DJ in there. Uh, lights going on. It's it's a good time. And for the uninitiated, can you can you describe exactly what Squat Fest is? Okay, so uh, basically, you know, you'll max out squat in the first half of it, and then now every workout imaginable you'll be doing. Uh, you know, you got a bunch of bags on the ground. You got RDL station. You got bench press station. You got everything imaginable. Then you bring it up at the end, and then you'll do a finisher. Finisher. Yes, ma'am. And what's the finisher? 
Uh, you depends. never know until it's there. You yeah, never you know, know until it's there. And time. here we go. We're looking at some video. I mean, this is <laughs> this is not messing around. Who's who's the MVP of Squat Fest? I think this guy right here. <laughs> I squat, I squat pretty decent. <laughs> All right, next time we're going to get a SWAT rack on the set at Media oh, no. Day. Uh, <laughs> Ricardo, Ricardo Hallman coming back. He had seven picks last year. No one in the country had more. Hunter, what, describe his instincts. What is it that, that makes him so special on the field? He's, he's got instincts that I haven't seen in many other football players. He just understands the game. And, I, I mean, we see it every day. He just has a great feel and a knack for knowing where the ball is and where the quarterback's going to go with it. Um, I mean, he'll, he'll be playing man on someone and intercept the ball that's thrown to someone else's guy. Like, he just, he just plays the game that way, and he just knows that. You know, he, he knows football that well. So yeah, There's stuff you can't teach. Stuff you can't level. teach. That's exactly right. Yeah. Well, let's talk about some of the young faces that you guys have coming in here. And, uh, you know, you mentioned Luke, Luke Fickle being so great in the portal. But the recruiting class and the, and the young talent that he's getting to commit to come play with you guys. Give us some names. Maybe there's one person that kind of has, has stuck out that's going to be new to the program that we're going to know well by the end of the year. Um, do we have to talk about young guys or can we talk about transfers? You can talk about anybody you want. I mean, You've I, got the mic. That's the rule. I mean, I think my group had the most transfers come in. Yep. And, uh, you know, with uh, Jaheim Thomas, Tackett Curtis, and uh, Sebastian Cheeks. And, you know, I could write a book about how much I love those guys and how good of football players they are. I mean, I want to talk about Jaheim, um, you know, truly an inside backer on third down, lining up on the edge and rushing the quarterback. That's something special. Right. You can move into different formations. You can move into different fronts with a inside backer without having to change personnel. You know, Jaheim Thomas is going to be really special for Wisconsin. And, you know, you talk about somebody like Tackett Curtis, you know, he played at USC. He was a great football player in high school. And, you know, just a little bit more development, just a little few more tweaks. And now, you know, I truly believe that we could have one of the best inside backer rooms in college football. And now nope, I got to shout out Christian Allegro. I got to shout out Christian Allegro, athletic freak. I think he could play any position on the field. You should write a book, by the way. I, I, I'm, I'm going. I think I'm gonna write a book. I, I would read that book. All right, and you can go with one, or you can go with five or six. Like yeah, um, if I had to say anybody, I would say uh, Joe Brunner. Um, you know, he's not a new guy. He's been in the program for a couple years, but uh, he's just now coming into that starting role at left guard. And I mean, he's just uh, somebody that's awesome to play next to. I mean, the intensity that he brings. You know, he's got a little bit of a nastiness to him, and uh, you know, I can appreciate that playing next to him. I'm really excited too this season. I'm gonna have to go with uh, Tretch, Tretch Kekahuna. Um, you know, we, we saw it a little bit in the LSU game at the end of the season, like how good he is and what he can bring to an offense. Um, and I see it trying to cover him every single day. Uh, so I think he's going to be he's going to be a standout this year, and he's going to kind of put the world on notice that like he's here and, and he's going to make a lot of plays for us. Well, I'll tell you what, we don't have to wait too long to find out exactly what this team is all about because week three, the Crimson Tide is coming into Camp Ramble. What? What do you guys think about when you, when you first found out that obviously Bama was coming in and just the excitement, the, the fever pitch? I know you're not looking ahead and you're going to say <clears throat> the most important game is week one, but what does it mean to have a program like that and the opportunity it presents? I mean, it's, it's tough talking about Bama right now. Um, there's a lot of work need to be done to even, you know, say we're close to being ready to play Alabama. I mean, I think there's a lot of work be, that needs to be done to say we're ready to play Western Michigan, mm. South Dakota. I mean, those are two great programs. And, uh, you know, we don't have an easy schedule at all. You do not have an easy schedule at all. And per by the way, that's like the perfect answer. If, if Coach was listening to this, he, he, he would be. That's why he says you're, you're, you're the guy that sets the tone and knows exactly how to answer all the right questions. Do you guys want to give some, some yeah. locker room material for Alabama? I think, uh, I think Jake hit it on the head. You know, I think it's a great opportunity uh, to kind of prove ourselves. I mean, it's a great program, and I think it's a good chance for us to really showcase what we've got. But, uh, you know, like he said, you know, we're not really looking forward to that just yet, and we'll start thinking about that more Monday of that game week. That's it. They hit it That's all it. right there. That's yes, ma'am. They hit it all right there. Okay, here's the deal. You guys are going to get asked a bunch of football questions. I know you already have been, and you're going to. But can we can we maybe do some non-football questions? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, best sorry. thing you did this summer was what? I played a lot of golf. Played a lot of golf. A lot of golf. How's yes, your golf game improving? It's getting there. Okay. It, it, it's a work in progress, but it's getting there. All right. Trying. I could see I, short game. I could see you really. You have a fine touch. I try to. It's, it's coming along. Okay. The best thing I did this summer, uh, probably spent a lot of time on the lake, just hanging out, doing some boating, so that was pretty fun. I had an internship this summer. Tell me about your internship this uh, summer. It was with uh, Oak Bridge Wealth Management. Okay. Uh, I love the head of the internship. His name is Chris Anasetti, and uh, I'm just learning about the financial planning process. You know, if you want to give me your money, you know, you might get 25% of it back. 
I, I, <laughs> that's what, that's that's why I did this. That's summer. the ma- yeah. That's the math. So if I'm going to give you money, I'm going to get 25 percent of it back. Yeah, you don't want to trust me with your money. Yeah. Okay. No, All right. That's that sounds. I was going to say I'm, I was not a math major, but that was definitely uh, not exactly what I had in mind. But let me tell you guys when you think about this program and everything that you guys are working on to be ready to play in week one. What's the number one thing? And I'll go down the line for each of you. What's the number one thing that you think this team needs to get right in order to be where you want to be? Um, you know, the simple answer is always physicality, right? We play in a physical conference and, you know, getting your mind ready for those games, right? I'm looking at the screen right now. You see Iowa, you see Nebraska, you see Rutgers. And, you know, that's what's so special about this conference. It's a physical, tough conference. And, you know, you can't go through fall camp lackadaisical looping around trying to you know let's make sure this is right this is right but at the end of the day we got to practice and we got to practice hard yeah to add to that i would just say you know staying hungry i mean you know during camp some of those days can get long but uh we just got to keep chipping away and staying hungry for those wins i think playing free um and, and playing confident i think when we do that we have the guys we have the talent and so when we can just play free go out there and play ball I think we're going to be really good, really special. So once we do that, we'll have a lot of fun doing it. If you can do all of those things and have fun doing it, then that is the name of the game. Gentlemen, thanks so much for joining me. Uh, Good luck with the golf. Good luck with the financial planning. Yes, ma'am. And good luck this season. Stay healthy. Looking forward to watching you guys. Thank Thank you. you. I appreciate it.